Hey everybody, today uh, I wanted to talk about a new solar product that uh, I discovered. Um, they're called Interplex is the name of the company. And uh, they make uh, a line of solar panels and also a line of rechargeable, uh, I guess this will be a lithium polymer type battery. But um, anyway, it's like an on-the-go battery where you can recharge your phone. And then they have a uh, thing called jumper quad here which is a power bank that has double-a batteries in it they can charge uh your double a's hooked directly to a solar panel so they're a lot like goal zero um they just have their own take on uh their products in a different design which i like it's a little more compact i think than a lot of the goal zero products but um anyway it says made in the usa so that's always a plus for me but this is called the kicker four and I'll read some uh, specs on it first. It charges electronics at the same rate as a wall outlet, plugs in and charges easily with a standard USB port made with rugged, rugged solar on plastic. Flexible and foldable construction charges most phones in under two hours. The power is 6.5 watts unregulated, 6.0 watts, 5 volt system regulated, output 1.2 amps. Um, the weight is just a little over half a pound. Um, it's the product open is 30 inches by 7 inches by the thickness is the thing that I like 0 0.08 inches so it's really thin and folded is 8 it's almost like an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper 8.8 uh, 8 .8 by 7 by 0.7 completely folded uh, it comes uh, the contents is the, the kicker 4 which is the panel USB charging cable and elastic band so that you can hang this in uh, you know any configuration that you want and also will allow you to uh, keep it uh, folded together in your pack so um, plug in and charge phones cameras music uh, I guess it'll be iPad or iPods um, uh, gaming controllers GPS devices so Obviously in prepping it would be helpful to have these types of uh, devices around to charge your, um, uh, if you have USB powered radios, walkie talkies, they are going that route these days it seems, so um, any type of uh, batteries like these where you can uh, recharge them um, to put in maybe your uh, like some walkie talkies will take AA batteries or whatnot. So, um, okay, so here you can see all the bands that come with it. And basically, you just wrap that around the edge here to keep it folded together if you're putting it in your pack. It's hard to do with one hand. There we go. So, essentially, it works like that just to keep it from coming unfolded. Standard USB cable there. All right, so we'll unfold this and show you what it looks like. Now, I like this because it is really rugged feeling. I mean, this doesn't feel like you could damage these panels at all. Um, really tough. And uh, it's really lightweight. It's lighter than my Goal Zero panel and my Sunjack panels. Um, puts out just a little bit less, little less power than those, but anyway, you can see here that there's a a port here with a rubber covering on it that outputs the USB. Now this does not output the 12 volt or anything so uh, keep that in mind but it's just it's, it's nicely designed it's just I think it's very attractive in the way that it looks it looks nice and rugged you see most of the other panels have two main panels and they're folded up uh, using velcro and they're a little heavier than this but uh, you can just tell man you can just it's not going to break apart. It's really flimsy and lightweight. So anyways, um, now let's go on to the next product that they offer here. This is called the Jump Stack 9. And essentially these, you can stack these um, together to create more power. I only have one, so I can't demonstrate that, but, um, anyways, we'll take it out here.
all right so you can see it's low profile and you can see there's pins here so that when you stack these they all kind of daisy chain together um it has an input if you want to hook it up to the wall directly or if you want to hook it up to the panel and there's an output usb there all right it has built-in and this is a neat feature it has these built-in power outputs so you can charge more than one thing at a time different fittings so what we can do is hook this up to the panel so I plug the cable into the power input and I'm going to plug this into the panel all right and this should be charging I'm going to slide it over in the sunlight a little bit more Okay, so we got it charging from directly from the panels. All right, so I want to talk to you a little bit more about the specs of the uh, the uh, jumper stack nine. All right, so it'll power up your devices for your tablet, phone, camera, iPods, GPS devices. Uh, the diagram shows, as I mentioned earlier, a tethered micro USB output, a tethered lightning output, magnetic charging inductors, which are those pins on the side, on the underside, and uh, the uh, micro USB input. So you can buy several of these, hook them up to your panels, and charge away. Alright, so that provides up to 23 hours of talk time on your phone. And uh, I don't know how many, honestly, charges you can get out of this. I would say maybe one to two on your phone. But um, it is a, uh, let's see, how many milliamps? 5,800 5, milliamp hours. Okay. It's a lithium polymer battery. So it's a nice battery. And they come in handy on, air, on airplanes and such as that where you can't get the power. Believe me. Um, okay, so the next thing is um, the Interplex Jumper Quad Power Bank. Now, uh, Goal Zero has one simple, similar to this, it's called the Guide 10, and uh, maybe where the idea came from. But it is a AA and AAA battery charger, um, four AA batteries included that are Interplex branded. Okay, charge your phone, camera, same stuff. Um, it has a rubber, gri rubber grip on the edge of it, I guess to kind of give it a little more of a rugged look. Uh, LED charging indicators on the battery uh, casing. Um, once charged, it functions as a 9200 milliamp hour battery that recharges smartphones and other small electronics via USB port. Rugged and durable design. Uh, the batteries are nickel manganese hyd I, I can't remember if that's manganese hydroxide or something anyways they're nickel batteries basically and uh, they're not lithium so these batteries will not last as long as this type of battery however you can't put these in a uh, double-a devices so you need flexibility and that's what their products offer um, it comes with the jumper quad, which is that, uh, for batteries, as I mentioned, USB charging cable, and a storage pouch. Alright, so we'll unbox it here. Okay. So there it is. You push the button there to open it up. And it pops open like that, and it has all the lighting indicators there when you plug it in. So we'll plug it in just for kicks. All right, it has an LED on the end too. I don't believe the packaging mentioned that. So we'll plug this in. See if this thing's charging away. Let's get it in the sun. Okay, so it is charging directly from the panel 
And uh, I'm not sure how the triple A's fit in here, but I'll look. Okay, there's another spot down there where you lie the uh, the triple uh, A's further in the bottom of the battery casing. So, anyways, um, I was wrong. It was not charging because there was a plastic sleeve there that you have to take out or insert. So now they're charging. Now you can see the lights blinking. My bad. But anyway, pretty cool. Now you have versatility with all your AAA and AA devices, and it comes with this pouch too. Yeah. So, anyway, pretty cool devices, and uh, creates a lot of competition in the marketplace with Goal Zero and a few of the other products. So that's what you need to bring prices down. So I'm going to put the links to all three of these items in um, the video description, so you can check those out directly from Interplex or on Amazon. So. Be sure and give these guys a look. I think you enjoy the products.